Somehow we managed to bring back the old gang all together. Hi, Jordy, <gasps> Seely. Oh, it was cold down there. Schmucks. They're, they're alive. The rest. Ye. As we approach the Michael Reynolds Museum. I thought that I, like I thought that Manor almost House. said something else, Reynolds. Uh, no, I was about to say uh, I feel like the Ryan. I feel like the name. I feel like the name. Go ahead, I was just saying, just continue over them. That's what I was trying to say. My bad. I feel like the name Michael Reynolds in and of itself is a reference to something. Uh, I, w I wonder, actually. Michael Myers. Yeah. Actually, you now I think about it, isn't it weird that like Erico's last name is Erico Christie, but she like she doesn't even like, she doesn't even like try she doesn't even like to identify with the last name Reynolds. Hmm. Well, considering nice. what her father put her through, do you blame her? Yeah. No, I don't. Oh, that's much better than the axe. I wonder <laughs> Why don't I just go with this? I wonder how mom's been doing. Yeah, I, they don't talk about that. Are we brothers? Well, we never really talk. Anyway, we so, never talk about that. We're have a little bit of silence as we confront Michael Reynolds. Okay. Yep. Okay. And actually, yeah, folks, this is literally the, the final area of the game, right here. But. Yeah, I saw a butt there. Anyway. I need to. <laughs> Daddy, dearest. Congratulations, fortunate visitors. You've managed to make it to the last room before you'll get out of it. A hundred million dollars awaits you. Hundred million. Oh, damn. In one piece. Ah, uh, uh, not so fast. I also, it should be mentioned that you can technically come in here with any other character besides Erico, so. Come, come now. True. Don't be scared. He's not going to be mention her by name. This one's by Stuart Milburn. I'm guessing that's because that's how disowned they are from each other. Oh. As you see, no, no, no. Uh, it's, it's, estranged. It's, it's, estranged, you know what I mean. You can choose from, actually. <gasps> So, Bull Stinger from Blue Stinger, and oh no, no man. it's oh no man. <laughs> oh no man. man. Maybe you'd like some help deciding. <laughs> he sounds so much like Tony J. Does. Kind of. Maybe. So what's happening here is before we get to some other like parts of this game, in terms of a you know final final thing, the game is actually giving us the option to pick our penultimate boss. Oh, okay. Right. Straight up, no strings attached. Who do you want to fight? And that's literally there is nothing that this changes besides: Do you want to fight another Cashman? Do you want to fight Oh No Man or the uh, cameo from Blue Stinger? Well, what's uh, what's, what's Mecha gonna choose? Looks like this uh, one. I think we show, I think we show off all of them. Oh. 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 Hello. Let's rock. Cool. Oh my god! Cashman. Oh, that's right. You Still know what? Since, since we're fighting this guy again, this actually is a good. This is a great way to get Jordy and, or, or actually, no, Jordy was with us when we fought this guy, but to yeah, get Seely Pie up to speed. Ah. And I mean, we, and we, honestly, we can do that a lot because yeah, a lot of what this video is going to be is the the boss rush of showing off. Like the first portion of this video is gonna is gonna be Mecha showing off all of the. Oh uh, my god! You know what this reminds me of? What? What? Goma. Yeah. Armagoma yes. from Twilight Princess. Yes. Oh. Ah. Okay. I was like. Honestly, it's funny you bring that up, Seely, because when I first saw these things, the first thing that came to my mind is, so this is what Skulltula looks like after evolution. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, 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 oh, like, like we came up with the idea, like, what if this is what this is what Skulltulas look like when they molt? This is what they look like when they develop. This is what they look like when they develop skin, skin Ew. and muscles. Muscles. <laughs> so weird. Instead of dollar signs, it'll be rupees. <clears throat> so yeah. yeah. Fortunately. Go ahead. Uh, so, but yeah, no, Skull, uh, Skull Tolo and references aside, meet Cashman. And yes, we did make some slight Wario parallels the first time we bought, came and fought him because he's all about the money. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I was there. I spied, uh, a spider after my own greedy heart. I, I, can you do something for me? What's up? Can you have Wario tell me that he's going to take over the universe with a legion of spiders? And how do I plan to take over the universe? With a massive legion of spiders. <laughs> is that actually how he says it? Spiders? Spiders. Well, that's all, yeah, that, well, I, it's a little bit more subtle, but everyone likes to make the joke of it sound like spiders. Oh, yeah. I know. I just think spiders. 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 I, mean, I know the Salt Critic was like, you know, big proponent of that. I believe you're mispronouncing <laughs> it. It's, it's spiders. Spidewars. Spidewars. Yeah. Spidewars. Oh, I thought you were going to do the Mega Mind, the Spidewars. Oh, yeah. No, I said Spidewars. No, it's Spidewars because Wah. Oh. Oh. I wanted to call them waters, but Wario thought that was a terrible idea. Well, do they look like they're made of water? Aren't we I all made of water? 
pancakes. <laughs> pancakes? Oh. Water Where burger. did that come from? What? Ah! Ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> A classic. Yeah, I'm not old... sure. Well, oh. I'm not sure how I feel about this music. I mean, this is the, this is the, the chaotic. It's a giant cavalcade of horror sounds, and I guess get used to it because I guess if there's one, I guess if there's one thing that I, not the bomb, what the hell, my, what the hell kind of sense is that? If there's one thing. This game is kind of a mess, but it's a lovely mess. But I would say if I, if I, if there's one thing I could, have, if there's another thing that I could add to this apart from subtitles is if they had um, like unique boss battle musics for everything. I think oh that my would, god, that the base actually emotes. Yeah, 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 it does. That's Cashman. Uh, you just about, noticed as he's dying. Yeah. The face of the face emotes about as much as an ill bleed mall can emote. Yep. Yep. Mm. Tr oh, so and trust me, you guys, you guys still missed out on probably the on oh, one of the no. one of the more amusing boss fights oh, no, in the entire man. game, which is unfortunately not part of this uh, boss rush. Uh, oh yeah. god! Oh, shit. Yeah, he just no, comes so rushing at you. Oh no, man! So <clears throat> the way Mecha described it to me is that it's like from easy to hardest, like. Cashman is easy because it's a pretty simple pattern. Oh no, man is a little bit harder because um, he moves a lot quicker, and we only get a short amount of time to hit him, and you gotta get really good at your dodging. But if you, as you see here, if you can combo, uh oh, Shit. if you can combo with the axe, which there is a button to swap uh, weapons mid-fight. So it looks like what Mecha's doing here is he does like a he waits for him to like tire himself out by doing all these swings. There it goes, and then from there. <clears throat> then do a quick combo to knock him down, then quickly switch to the machine gun to peg him as he's trying to get up. Yeah, headless? it certainly looks like. Yeah, he's headless. Yeah, I was what? about. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's headless. Honestly, that strategy really does make it sound like he knows how to get ahead of him. Hey, but there is no I, head honestly, to get ahead of. Actually, I was actually with that little stem on top. He's reminding me of that one character from Samurai Jack. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, like, the, uh, well, the last the guy I trusted did this to you me. You know, you know what his attack patterns remind me of? What? <clears throat> What's that? Zant. Oh, it kind of does. Maybe. I mean, without the, so much the teleporting. For me, he yeah. looks like a very muscular I, Pikmin. I, I was, I was referring, to, I was referring to him like <laughs> flailing his arms and then waiting until he gets tired. Ah. Uh, I guess. But with that, he defeated Oh No Man. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh, no, yes. Man. Go down. Oh yeah. So that would be the that would be the slightly <laughs> less difficult fight. But now let's just get right to the chase with uh, the cameo from Blue Stinger. Bolsting like this, the bull sting. Oh. You do that. I'll be right back. Okay. 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 It and, has uh, baby and legs. This mecha bleeds is the hardest of the fights to uh, like beat. Also, okay. hey, bolle, 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 bolle. Which yes, and yes, if you notice, yes, there is a man's legs back there because Blue Stinger was almost like a Resident Evil kind of game. Oh. Mm -hmm. It didn't and do so hard for those wondering. The yeah. BS virus. That's why. That's why that team then worked on this. <laughs> it looks so Actually, disturbing. Actually, that James, kind of maybe that's, actually, I just realized, James, maybe that, maybe in addition to it being BS, maybe that's also why Podidon had those letters BS on his. Oh, uh, for stinger. Damn, that would make sense. Blue stinger. Oh. But uh, at, yeah, Mecha Mecha believes that Bull Stinger is the hardest just because of how quick and erratic he can move in. Unlike with a uh, Oh No Man, you can't really stun him. Oh. Just gotta get really good at dodging and just. Just going back to Oh No Man real quick, I would have liked it if, as he was lying down on the floor in defeat, he would just, you'd just hear like the, Oh No. <laughs> that would have been Actually, awesome. Actually, holy crap, because they, I forgot if we already, I forgot if we already found, I, I forgot if Knuckles' voice actor was found in this. Ouch. Uh, Scott Dreer, I don't believe he is. Damn, because yeah, no, I would have loved if, even if he was just voiced by him and that's it. Or not, if not even, if not Scott Dreer, then the other guy that voiced Knuckles before him. Let me see who that is. I know. Okay. Actually, it's funny. We, it's funny too because I do know that same actor who voiced Knuckles in SA One oh. also voiced a side character in, uh, in Sonic Team's other game, uh, Burning Rangers. Cool. Okay, so in Adventure hmm. One, it is one Michael McGahard. Gotcha. I don't know if he's in this project or not. And I, I know Burning Rangers mainly because of its kick-ass theme song. Oh yeah, no, the, the, the theme song kicks ass. All right, so we did Yay. it. And, and bear in mind, you only have to fight uh, one of those, but we showed off all three because why yeah. not? Anyway, let's listen. I have had this much excitement in a long time. <clears throat> Very well then. I shall present you with Good night, Mom. million dollars. <laughs> yes, I mean, uh, good, good, good night. Uh, <clears throat> good night, Pies, Mom. <laughs> and for the Michael Reynolds Orchestra, accompany it. Oh. 
There's oh. the Michael Reynolds Orchestra. <laughs> well, uh, they look That's like a bunch real people. images. That's oh. just a bunch of people. What the fuck? So, ah, there you are. Stop playing that music. Stop and then Morris is like, never mind. Keep playing. The money. Just, he sees it raining. He just opens wide. Ah, sucks it all up. <laughs> so, yeah. This is how the game would normally end. No matter who you play as, no matter what you do. Uh, if you saved all your friends and stuff, uh, we win one hundred million dollars, oh. and it just won't stop dropping. Although a thought just occurred to me: Are those all one dollar bills? No, it's three. No, it's all one hundred million Biden dollars. <laughs> For that is the exchange. Anyway, <clears throat> so it looks so, like we're uh, gonna have to censor that. No, Why? we don't have to. Nah. It's just, I think the silence. Oh, is the, I think the silence oh my God! I'm so sorry. I meant I meant to say bison dollars. Bison, <laughs> bison. Okay. I was trying to make a reference oh, to anyway. This, on, this, this, this is the ending that happens if none of Eric, if some of Erico's friends don't survive. Oh. So is it the bad ending? Yes. Yes. Okay. I mean. I'd gladly give back the money if I could get them back. Is this supposed to be like an older Erica? Sounds like it. Yes, listen. I was brave if they rest in peace. If I, my friends, I'll miss you a lot. The end. That's, that could happen, and yeah, oh my god, I'm sorry, I messed up the quote. I meant to say bison dollars. <laughs> yes, this is Street Fighter. <laughs> God, we got a little... I'll keep that in though, just so people understand. That, oh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. Got a you know what I just found out? What? What's, What's that? that? Um, it, uh, Erico's voice actor. Yeah. Where's the that? Or excuse me, Lady Manila. Huh? Yeah. Lady Manila. That's, that's Manila. the actress. We were talking about that the whole time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, yeah, I just, I, I saw the... her most recent roles. I thought, oh, cool, same voice actress. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So, oh, oh, she's been this a is the, this is the good ending. So meanwhile, at Emerald Coast. Oh. But yeah, pretty much. And yeah, it, it, no matter if Randy had his brain or not, he'd be totally fine here. When he's oh oh, so he he wouldn't be talking all that gibberish anymore if we forgot to give him back his brain. Yeah, I guess it's implied they went back and just grabbed it, just went. By the way, would you mind not hogging all the drinks? <laughs> Let him get drunk. He needs it. As as we're enjoying our. Oh new my wealth. gosh! You know what else I recognize her from? What? Wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. The cutscene for time first. Thinking of your secret love or something? Yeah, you wouldn't. So what's happening, Erico? You don't like all the wealth? I wonder what happened to Daddy Dearest. He's still out there. She's going back to Illbleed. What? What? <laughs> she wants to go back to Illbleed. Are you fucking serious, Erico? She goes, I go. <laughs> she wants to go alone. Why? What's going on? Kevin, butt out. She doesn't need a guy right now, okay? She needs a woman in her life. If I make it back, I'll probably be a She's going to go back to Ill Bleed alone to confront and figure out what happened with her father. I like how he's just covering his eyes. But be careful. What eyes? They're just a pair of brows. And telepathically communicate with me, okay? I can be at your side in no Yeah. Time. Right. Thanks a lot, guys. I love I'll let her finish that stuff okay. out later. <clears throat> well, Sorry. I'll just edit that out. Um, it's all fine. So as we go back to the bleed and leave them behind and all their wealth. How's she going to get off an island? Uh, Is there a jet? Oh, crap. I didn't think this far. The end. So, the end. <clears throat> so that's the end. But now to, now to explain with my editing here. So at this point, you would actually then load your save again and basically beat the entire game again. But this time, in order to keep with it, to be, keep consistency with not saving with going alone, you have to play the entire game again. But this time, save nobody. Oh. So they would just like suddenly just be there for no reason. Well, no, it's like you leave and then you just leave them for dead or whatever. I don't know. It, th so the issue though is that every time you don't <laughs> save somebody, part of your outfit gets ruined in the process. Oh. That's all you're I, literally wearing nothing at all. Oh god. Pretty much. Also we're gonna take also we're going to uh so yeah, this is all the people. And this is all the money they had on them. And uh, this is the fact that she, this is showing that they're all dead. Oh. 
Died at the age of 17. Died at the age of 16 because he was beaten by hammers by a group of fake doctors at the wood puppet stage. Yeah, wait, he was 16? Holy shit, he did not look 16. Uh, yep. None and of these characters look their age. He is missing after being kidnapped by a zombie. Yep, we, we got to save him. But yeah, so this is having abandoned them all. And with, through the magic of low poly and tasteful texturing, yeah, we're nude. Of course we are. Almost, mm. almost nude. Well, we got undies on. So as... So now that we're going into so this is so this is after Mecca has now beaten the game a second time. Damn. And we go we turn back here. It's one of those games where you have to play it twice to yeah. get it. So while we're doing this whole cutscene, uh, Celie, what was it that uh, you learned about Lani Manila? She, or uh, now whatever. She voiced you, all the female characters in Candyland Adventure. Oh. oh yeah. Huh. Uh, that computer game. Now that's oh. What I call body. Whoa. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, I, lo- I noticed that weird. literally her clothing is reduced to scraps well, of fabric second, guys. over those yeah. parts. What's wrong? Uh, uh, I'll get your blanket. Mm. I was about to say, I, I find that weird that he was like just like leering at her body, despite the fact that isn't she supposed to be her daughter? He he's only he's just about to notice that he couldn't see from afar. So there's our father. Hey, daddy. Yeah. Oh, he's a Teletubby. Hi. So it was you, Dad. I knew it. You're the only guy who could have come up with such a sick and twisted place. What are you trying to do here? Ooh, I was waiting for you, Eriko. You passed the test. You test. made it all the way through. Oh, come on, Dad. I passed your fear factor test when I was a kid. Nothing scares me or is a thrill anymore. From roller coaster to tales of the macabre. You took away my fun. And now you try and pull this stunt? How dare you? You little maniac. Out of your mind. I mean, Aha, my dear, look at me. To my ears. I consider that a compliment, you know. I experience it. I'm just looking at him. All I see is Teletubby. Scared out of their wits. When someone yells <laughs> out an What is face he's supposed to be? All hope. He's like a monster alien. They never explain it. Because would you really expect this game to? Yeah, that's true. Not really. <gasps> okay, oh, there we go. Yay. There you go. My sound kind of like muted for some weird reason. I don't know why. Uh, where did we, uh, where are you guys at? Uh, oh, uh, yeah. You're, uh, how about this? Go to, eight, minutes. Go to 18 minutes. Go to 18 minutes. Okay. Yeah, 18 minutes. Okay. And uh, terribly sorry for what you're about to say. Yeah. I see. All right, so you ready, anyway. Jordy? Yep. Yep. So, five, four, three, two, one, play. So basically, our father is kind of like Doctor Screw Eye. Oh. He thrives on fear and all that. How did he become this? You know, the game is never gonna tell you. That's just how, that's just how Daddy always looked. <laughs> yep. He was a this freakish alien thing, and Erico was like, "Yeah, that's my dad, all right." Your excuse, Jamie. Let's you listen. Come here if you knew I was here. I want my sense of fear back. You stole that from me. Sense of fear, eh? There's only one person I know who'd be capable of shocking me back into a normal human being, one that has a natural fear of the unknown. A dread of danger. Right, because she's been made fearless after all that her upbringing. Oh, damn. Yeah, she, she kind of became numb to it all. Mm, Which is kind of cons- weird, considering the entire point of the game. Yes, you are just in time. I, was <laughs> I mean, I guess... Oh, well, bless you. Yeah. I mean, I just assume that the game kind of just treats it as though, like, it's just a store relevant thing as opposed to a gameplay thing. Yeah. Because you could easily scare the living shit out of Erica if you tried hard enough. Wait, oh, so is there a reason why he's na- why she's naked? I'll tell you later. Okay. I really don't mind. <laughs> of course you don't. I need to clarify because this is actually really important dialogue. Yes, special. You'll see. First, turn on your horror monitor and then activate cautious action. But if you lose even one event, your pulse rate will race past a hundred. I put everything I had into this. 
So we're talking extreme power at its wicked worst. The hardest. The event will push yeah, the hardest scare traps shock. in the oh, game. Damn. Oh boy. Clyde, shut up. Jericho, this is the chance you've been waiting for. I don't know if the mic's picking him up or not. I'm not hearing nothing. Don't worry. Me neither. So. With our life on the line, we're gonna have some. We're gonna. We have to survive <clears throat> the next couple shock events uh, in three of the nine mausole monoliths, each referring to a different, you know, scent or whatever or sense. Your mission is to find all of the items, all of the memorable items themselves. But some of them will be linked to shock events, and the, these ones are very, very strong. Uh, otherwise, yeah, otherwise, you know, bad things happen. To clarify for you, Jordy, every time one of our friends dies, uh, part of our clothing becomes torn up and, like, you know, shredded and stuff to show how we're being, you know, how we're suffering or whatever yeah. the hell. Uh, yeah, I would, it's, I think, it, I figured it's just a means to say that, sh you know, the, 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 the park is giving her some hell. We right, swear so, it's visual storytelling. We swear. We're not horny. I was gonna, s I was gonna say, isn't she in high school? Dang it. They all are. So okay, the then. issue is, <clears throat> so the issue is that using our special horror monitor will only have we only have enough adrenaline to use it three times to place down those warning beacons. So basically, uh, yeah, that's how it goes. If we die from shock, from us fainting or having way too much uh, heart rate going up, uh, then he wins. Otherwise, you know. So basically, what's happening here is effectively, um, let's take the special horror monitor. You effectively, this is maybe a. A maybe sort of a game of chance it's also just you know being very cautious to see where it'll go so the smell one he's gonna guess is the butt of course <laughs> so that for the elephant so it was not the elephant so that wasted some adrenaline unfortunately but that also had our memorable icons so that's one of the three down yep we got that correct however we are running out of adrenaline points so Ew. That is gonna bump up our heart rate from Ew. fifty to fifty-five. Oh, that was actually was not too oh, that's bad. Not bad. Okay. Nah. That's thought that was gonna be a lot harder. Okay, so nothing here. Aha, our other memorable icon. So we just need a third one, and we'll be done. The hearing one is probably this poster. It's baby Erico. Oh yeah, it is. Hi, Daddy. Oh. Okay, that cranked it up a bit further. Oh, you know what? I think it's because. Tadpole. Tadpole trouble. Oh. Yeah, hey, hey, we aren't doing that game yet. You know what? I think I think it's not doing as much damage because uh, maybe Mecha like pumped up on a lot of those items before that would help lower the. I think it's this supposed to be. So we're going to get to get. Oh. gonna get to see all of them. Ooh. Shadow man. Ow. So far, so good. We're surviving them. What's so the matter, good. Erico? Scared of your own shadow? I guess. And this must be the third item. A rubber stick. Of course. Hmm. We've special uh -oh. shock Shocker. event. Clear. Oh, oh, we did it. Oh no! Not my device. What also, I'm hearing the audio echoing in someone else else's audio. Oh, Nobody. honestly, Why? almost Why? it would have been appropriate for the sequence. Yeah, yeah, it sounded. Now demonic. we get to see. Oh, look, a butt. <laughs> I'll see, well, she just picked up a butt. She's carrying the butt. It. If you have not evolved at all, this trick was way too obvious. Is this all you can come up with in 10 years? But yeah, now is, I should have said this earlier, but just the whole thing gimmick behind how she loses all her clothing. It, it, honestly, it's so cute. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 My dear, you're so ugly! Oh, is that what I look like? It was just a mask. <laughs> basically, we spooked him. Oh. What do you know? But in spooking him... He melted. He melted. He's now going to become his true form. And his true form is going to become the final boss, because, I mean, you saw him. Uh, hello. Oh, God. So, uh, yeah, again, I'm hearing the audio echoing in someone else's headphones. I think someone's headphones aren't plugged in. No, it can't be mine. Well, I have not mine. I don't think I it's mean, mine. I mean, no matter. So it, it's... I mean, no matter. It's not gonna. It's not gonna bleed into the uh, recording. <laughs> thing. It'll bleed. Yeah, I, I'm ah, hearing it'll it. Now. I'll, I'll just have to edit it out. <laughs> For the record, that wasn't completely oh. unintentional. Hmm. So yeah, we get to the final boss. Mecha, uh, Mecha has told me a lot about like the final boss and stuff. Like I do think it is a very genuinely creepy design. Yeah. yeah. It is. But uh, yeah, other than that, we just we uh, treat it out. Freaking laser beam. <clears throat> we basically uh, deal with it the same way we've dealt with every other uh, 
uh, you know, attack sequence. At the same time, I guess, yeah, like I said, like, I wish there was a final boss music because it is still the same boss music from the start of the game to the very oh, yeah. end. I mean, it's still very, it's still fitting, it's still fitting music, all the same. Though it also, though, I guess I'll also say as far as the final boss is concerned, the fact that it's locked down to this sort of scenario really makes me realize how intentional it all feels. I mean, considering how, I mean, look what we're doing, what's going on right now. Oh, with us and the, the, the current condition yeah. we're in. Yes. It, I think I think the developers might need to see, might need to you know calm it calm it down a bit on the hornball levels. I feel like yeah. they need to. Uh, I think we need to check their catering because someone injected a lot of. I forget what the drug caddy said in his Crash Four video. Hmm. We won. Yay. But at what cost? I don't know. Our clothes. Uh, at the cost. At the cost. And our friends. Yeah, that and that and also the cost of. Uh, that we was only phase one. Oh. Oh, oh, never mind. What? Oh, a brain. Only oh. I have the brains to scare you, my dear. Devil I was about it. to make that reference, but uh, yeah. Demon time. Oh. Is that supposed? Is that supposed to be a spine on the bottom? Oh, of yes. It? No. Oh. Ooh. That's right. Mm. You know, nothing scarier than realizing your daddy was a fucking hell spawn all this time. And also that the cameraman maybe <laughs> should have aimed a little bit higher than that. But... Oh yeah, shit! The cameraman's horny on me. Let <laughs> yeah, him be. Uh, I was about to say, mm. cute of you to assume he's not aware of that. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's move. So, uh, yeah, this is the true final boss. Oh, damn. Uh, and, again, the game ain't gonna explain shit of what's going on. Just that maybe all along, maybe our father was some fear demon or whatever, but uh, and definitely uh, going with, like, a, a ranged combat is what I would recommend because of uh, how quick and... Uh, how, uh, you know, unfortunately pretty problematic some of his attacks can be, especially the freaking all the homing ones like this, these weird flies. So, as we're now approaching the credit sequence, because, you know, after that the game will, over, will probably be over, and I'd like to be able to have the last cutscene play out since we can't do subtitles. Yeah. That's fair. What did, what did ever, James, what did you think of this wild romp we've been on? I mean, the game really doesn't, certainly lives up to its st current status of being a cult classic. Like, it's very much full on the cheese and, and, and mostly in a good way. Though you can definitely tell it was very much a product of its time and, well, naturally, some shit that have some of the stuff that happens in this game definitely would not fly today. Nope. Nope. Uh, there's there's a lot of it. Like, they definitely were trying to experiment a lot of this. Uh, and, I'm, uh, uh, actually, I will also say I, I understand their thought process on this, but I do think the fact that the New Game Plus can only be done through Erico was a little boneheaded. Because, like, you know, why have all these multiple characters if we can't actually utilize them? Especially mm. when you start the game off just with Erico. Yeah, it does seem, makes it kind of seem like an odd afterthought. Uh, hi, what did, uh, I know you've been kind of quiet for a lot of this. I mean, just, you know, you can be absolutely honest. Same with La Milana and all that crap. Uh, what did you think of the little adventure? Well, I will say, uh, the reason that I was quiet in the last part is because I was sorting something out that was happening with um, Smashcast, apparently people decide to take it upon themselves to make their own character trailers without even considering the fact that, like, we already have characters casted. Ah. Yeah, they're trying, they, they kind of they got a little obsessive yeah. about it. But, but as far as, but as far as it'll bleed, what did you think of it? It's, um, it's, it's definitely unique. Um, uh, I think it kind of goes without saying that I don't think it's something I personally would get into. Like, uh, just a matter of, like, I'm not too into horror games, and the fact that even as horror games go, this one does seem kind of obtuse to, like, get, the, to, like, get a firm grasp on. That's fair. Um, <clears throat> uh, I guess we're almost at the end, so I guess I'll get a quick opinion. Celie, what did you think of what you had the chance to see in this game? Well, to me, it's really dated, but it, it was a fun ride. Hmm. That's not what it, what it built, itself, built, built oh. itself up to be. Oh, <laughs> trying to head bonk us now. I'll, you shouldn't do that with an exposed brain, sir. Well, here yeah. comes the cutscene. I mean, you're gonna get, you're gonna get you're gonna get <clears throat> brain damage. Yeah. Daffy, Daffy, no. Die, Daffy. Huh? Oh, that's not worth a Daffy. What what if what if he became Daffy right then? <laughs> no. Just, Just the Daffy stare. The. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to hell. Should that be the icon for this? Should that be the thumbnail for the video? Nah. Like he said, it's not worth a Daffy. Uh, Something will be worth a Daffy, but... Huzzah. He only, he only thinks that because he's the one that made the pun. 
Well, no, I've, I, I'm sure. I, I'm sure there's other puns I've made that are more oh worth it. God. Anyway. I can't believe this. You actually destroyed yourself. You finally did it. You scared the living hell out of me. Damn. And that was it. He, she was finally scared. Wow. That's it, folks. That's there. There's a post credits oh. cutscene, but uh, yeah. So uh, <clears throat> that was it. After all this time, she finally felt scared again. It makes it feel like a weird art house project suddenly. So, um, uh, Jordy, what did you think of what we saw of Little Bleed? Um, well, I can see why Fubu really likes this game. It, it holds a uh, promise with its structure and its story, though. I do agree with uh, Celia and Steve that. It is pretty dated, especially given, uh, you know, how people talk in this game. But oh, yeah, no, like, the, the localization of this game is terrible. Yeah. 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 But, uh... It's... It, yeah. Sorry, I, all I was going to say was, but even though I am myself, I'm not really big into horror games, especially this one, I... I, I I'll give credit where it's due. I, I, I think it's an okay game. Mm. I would have liked if the the credit for continuity would have been like continuity. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, continuity. Uh, Pi, your, yes. And then Pi, your thoughts? I kind of like this game, despite with all the different mechanics of how technical it is. The overall um, creativity they put in this is quite astounding, especially that Toy Story ripoff bit. <laughs> right. And again, I think that's that really is the biggest draw behind Illbly, the fact that. As dated as it may be, it did have a lot of creative ideas. Oh yeah, it had a lot of charm. It, it is very it much a game. Its datedness and localization, like what's there? It? It's yeah. very, it's very much one of those so bad it's good to watch. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it really is. It really does come across like almost like a, it's like yeah, it gets it, actually yeah. When you put it like that, holy hell, this is basically the the B rated horror flick of games. And, oh, yeah, and, of and, course, and, and given that. Yeah. And that's how it's, that's how it's, yeah, given how that strive it, it literally strived itself to be. I think it, it succeeded with flying colors. There's a vector game top billing oh, up there. <laughs> and there's Ryan, and Bocorkery, all these guys. But uh, so, so I guess my opinion is so. I definitely think this game deserves some spot in history. It is it it. I think it is. I think it definitely earned its cult following it's such a crazy mishmash of themes and like silly campy horror but in some sense like yeah for people who are into like those silly campy horror games like if they're able to look past the less than you know conventional gameplay mechanics i think there is definitely a lot of fun to be had with this game i I think, I guess my biggest issue with it is that it really does feel like at the developer table, they were just like, let's throw everything at this wall and see what sticks. And just with gameplay mechanics, with item usage, there's a lot. But I personally did enjoy this trip and a huge, again, a huge thank you out to Mecca who helped record all this footage for us. Um, this, I, I definitely do not fault him for enjoying this game as much as he does. And uh, yeah, he has a Twitch. He has a Twitch.tv if anyone wants to give that a look. See, I'll link that in. I'll link that in the description below. And uh, he, uh, I know, usually makes it. He does make a point of at least every Halloween Easy streaming game this game at least indeed. once. Mm -hmm. Who th would have knew? But uh, with that said, we'll end off with just a quick little epilogue to uh, uh, tell us about what the heck happened to Eriko after all that mess yeah. about. Yes. Oh. There's my little girl. She still remembers. not gonna make. Yeah, no, still not gonna make. No, I think that was just her remembering better times. Even though she's still not gonna make me care for that dude. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So let's listen. Okay. A few days later. Yeah. The new president of the Horror Research Club will now be me, <laughs> Kevin Kurtz. <Kurtzman, laughs> due to the fact that our old president Erico is just not the same anymore. Poor Erico. Once fearless and strong, she turned into a vulnerable little girl. Aww. Who needs a fearless knight in shining armor to protect I mean, her? I mean, yeah, like basically me. she is like yeah. gotten all of her fears the back. The sad part is, I can't go to the horror house with her anymore. Aww. I mean, honestly, that's fine. Now she can feel like a normal person again, and what the... Also, I just that's... noticed that's... Ooh, the arcade. Mm. The arcade? Ooh. It's not Illbleed anymore. That's... <gasps> 
a game that's never gonna Aww. be released. <laughs> oh well. Who the th- oh, I, could, could you imagine? Freaking heck. Also, something it's, I just um, noticed. Her face actually changed for that scene. Oh my god! A character in yeah. this game actually emoted. No. Ah! So. That's why I said aww. So, True yeah. character development. Yes. It's a. Uh, it was a. It was a wild ride, and I'm sure Matt had a blast trying to make sense of it all. And <laughs> for what little he was here for. It's definitely one of our. Again, it's definitely like with Lamalana. I feel like it's definitely one of the more niche games we cover. But I do think. I guess a part. I guess a little bit more than La Milana. Like I enjoyed La Milana, but um, I uh, I think there's a lot more to this for people to get like a good like. It was a lot more fun to watch. I think in some places. Yeah. It also helps too that it was trying to ape a, ape what ape what was a pretty strong trend at the time. That being the the, the survival horror genre. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So they basically turned into a whole thing. It's again there are there are some things here that I would that were pretty fun and. Like we mentioned a few parts ago, I could see it working as a roguelike kind of thing as well. If they were to do play with the randomization more, but uh, until then, uh, this has been us covering games that I strongly believe will never get any sort of you know successor, unfortunately, <laughs> as it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yep. Thank you all so much again. Again, thank you to Mecca for hosting this yes. footage. Uh, as uh, as always, I was Lucky Jack Twenty. I'm James Main Stream. Hi, Lim Princess Mita. Dr- Jordan the Cat 11. My Mania Galaxia. And don't forget to visit our gift shop. Okay. okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Can I get a keychain? <laughs> I should take James' secret. See you guys. Bye. 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 I got a keychain. It has a voodoo head. <laughs>